All right, so we are in part two of our newbie guide. And to start off for this video, remember to go to the gemstone shop first and purchase those times five Dokebi tickets. And just to add a reminder that these things refresh weekly, so make sure to check back every Mondays and get them again. And my next starter tip for you guys is as you make your way to Prontera coming from East Geffen Gate, make sure to do the subquests as you stroll your way through. It would be a good idea to not avoid the monsters here and just keep on farming them because the level 8 equips that we will get here are the ones that we would consider upgrading. For this part, it's just a reminder really to make sure to do the subquests for each map because some of them are connecting to each other. Like for example for this Dryad NPC, you have to finish her quest first so that when you move to the next map, you can activate the connecting quest with this dryad. Next tip is the achievements menu. This is the place where you can pretty much farm most of the gems so that you can do more summons and this will be useful for the cards or the kebi summons. Looking at the battle tab specifically, you'll want to target killing these many monsters on each map you visit to make sure you grab the gems that are available once you complete each mission. Next is boss hunting on the world map. Don't pressure yourself on being able to kill them right away. Instead, you can just level up some more and come back at them later. Like for this one, this is a level 12 toad and my characters are currently at around level 14 only. And they are having a hard time using this guy. So, in my suggestion, why don't you come back later when you're at level 20 or higher. Now for the equipment that you could consider refining at the start of the game. With Pear for example, we got this level 8 green armor. I can tell you this is worth refining with the use of rough aluminum. Or with Ophelia, we got this level 8 green smasher. Worth refining with rough oridicon. While we have this green armor for Rina, in my opinion we could pass it since she's a ranged unit anyway. Taking a look at the achievement tab as well, we have this requirement of doing refine three times. So might as well do it now with those level 8 equips. Shortly enough you'll be able to access the Hall of Valhalla. So just a reminder here, I would suggest you use that extra 100 gems so that you'll be able to access this twice a day. I do think this is important to do at the start so that you can upgrade your main units as quickly as you can. After doing my two runs on my first day of being able to access the Hall of Valhalla, I got Ophelia to rank 2 and we also have Pear who is at rank 3. When you first arrive in Prontera, open your events tab and assuming you've done your first set of guide missions, the next set should be available and you can start doing them. Here's another tip when it comes to refining. If you're in desperate need of some Oridicons or Illuniums, there's always a store nearby near the blacksmith and you can purchase it here. The price is actually not that bad, especially for the rough Oridicon or rough Illunium for starters. Now aside from the gemstone shop, there's also the timed store which is open from 3pm to 10pm every day. That's GMT plus 8. So do try to purchase weekly the card draw ticket, the cabby ticket, and mana powder. Then there's also the EXP potions found at the very right side. The medium and small EXP potions refresh daily, so make sure to try and purchase those because you really need a lot of EXP potions at the start of the game.
And lastly, when you're done with the Culvert Dungeon, you'll be making your way through here to get to Orkville. So the difficulty spike gets higher here, plus it's a chance to farm for higher level equipment. Uh, level 16 if I remember correctly. Orkville is found here, which is 3 maps away from where we are. So do consider taking the time to farm for a while, or you can avoid a bunch of monsters to get to Orkville and reach the save point from there. Oh, I have to put in this other tip, which is card upgrading. So I'll show you later the cards that I've summoned via the summon session, but this is what we have right now. And if you're looking at Doppelganger, it's kind of expensive to upgrade considering we only have 173 Mysterious Powder. You'll notice there are boxes on the 2 star and 5 star of the card. That means when you upgrade it at that level, it will reduce the CP usage by 1. So like here we have Osiris, if we upgrade it, from 6 cost, it will become 5 cost. There you go. So from here, I'm also looking at upgrading my Andre Egg card. Here we have Kalitzberg, but I think it's still too early to upgrade. We also have Farafrog, but I think 20% is enough. Sidewinder is okay as it is. Coco, very useful, but I think Andre Egg should come first. The HP buff is not so important, but what we need here is the increase max CP, which we can use in order to stack different card combos. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Let's go one more time. And later when we have enough mana powder, we'll do one more upgrade. So that's about it for this newbie guide part 2. And I'll just leave you with my card summoning session for the rest of the video. And I'll see you on the next one guys.
<laughs> yeah, boy.